Hey guys, welcome to our show, Red is the New Black. My name's Seth, this is Dugan. We have a wonderful guest with us today, Kaz Adaz. Unfortunately, our other bowling coach couldn't be here, so we're just gonna sit here and ask some questions. Hello, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. <clears throat> for those that don't know, how long have you been the bowling coach here at Fostoria High School? I've been coaching now for two years. I started last year. Uh, started as assistant coach this year, our Main coach Herb was uh, is ill, so he couldn't do it. So I took over most of the. Um, how did the season go? It's still going pretty good. Uh, has it up to up and downs. Most of the kids didn't bowl before. We had uh, we've got 16 kids that came out this year. Last year we only had five, so this is a really good turnout. Yeah. And uh, we had some baseball players come out, some golfers which was good. It's good for the program. You all learning well? Yes, they, they're learning. <laughs> In this case, what would you do for someone that wants to bowl but doesn't have, say, a bowling ball or shoes? We try to furnish them with equipment. We have a lot of equipment that's donated, and if people can't afford it, we set them up. We drill, drill the balls for them. We have shoes, rental shoes for them, or if they want to buy stuff, then we can sell it to them. We just give it to them at a discounted price. Anything to try to get them into the program. Okay. Well, you guys are practicing. What do you guys typically do um, when it comes to practicing and getting other players better? Also, what is a Baker system? Okay. When we start practicing, we practice always the 710, which are the corner pins. Because no matter how good you throw the ball, you're going to leave those corner pins. So you have to learn to pick those up. The Baker system is five kids bowl two frames a piece. First five bowlers bowl one frame each. Then the next five frames, they bowl the other two frames. Where does the um, bowling team practice and have home matches? At Seneca Lanes here in Fostoria. That's where our home house is. And that's where you have all our practices too. Well, what made you get into bowling and were you a bowler? Mm, yes, I've been bowling for approximately probably 40, 42, 44 years. Uh, I just enjoy bowling. It's something to do in the winter. I'm, in the summertime, I'm very athletic. I golf. I used to play ball. I played ball for 46 years. I just got into golf or into bowling as a winter sport. And it is a sport. Most kids don't think it is, but it is. <laughs> Um, do you know the owner of Seneca Lanes? You, you, right, yes. Herb is the owner. Right now, I'm the manager. I'm running the lanes right now. Right. Do you watch professional bowling? I used to. Since they changed the format, I haven't been able to catch it because usually I'm working on Sundays. Who would you say your favorite professional bowler is? Uh, Earl Anthony used to be. Why? He was just so smooth and relaxed and <coughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is there any like sort of a state tournament for bowling and um, how does those um, tournaments process? For the school or? Like anything like state? Oh yeah, we school? have state tournaments, we have national tournaments. Uh, I go to national tournaments every year. This year it's in El Paso, Texas. Uh, last year it was in Reno. Uh, it moves around all over the United States. But uh, yeah, we have state tournaments, we have national tournaments. 
as the bowling coach, what is your vision for Redmond Bowling? Make an advance to bowling. Ohio State has a really good bowling program. If they stick to it and if they try to do what we tell them to do, they can get good enough where they can get on, on bowling teams in college. Mm. What are some major initiatives you would like to take in putting a stamp on the Foster Aid Bowling Program? Oh, uh, just try to get the kids out there and, and uh, just try to show them teamwork, camaraderie. Uh, they get to travel to other houses and stuff, meet new people, uh, interact with other people. Uh, it's just it's a it's a learning program for everything for many of the young athletes out there watching why should they consider bowling as a sport because a lot of kids don't consider it a sport the other athletes in football baseball basketball don't think bowling is a sport bowling is a sport it's a very difficult sport it's not easy there's a lot of things you have to learn a lot of things you have to remember and it's physical most people don't think it's physical, but it is. If they come out there and try to keep up with me, and then, you know, I'm up there in age, but I can still bowl 15, 20 games. And for other people to try to keep up with me, they'll, they'll learn in a couple of days that it is physical. Charles Barkley once said, am I not a role model? Do you believe that athletes should be role models? To some extent, they should be, but some of them carry it too far. Sports to me is a privilege. It's a game. It is a job, but it's a game. It's a privilege to be able to play any kind of professional sports, and they should take it that way. To you, why are sports an important part of the interscholastic experience? It builds kill the kids' characters. It helps them in everything through life. Uh, I have a lot of kids that have problems and stuff, and just by being in sports, it takes their mind off of it. It helps them just to focus better. Uh, it's going to help them in the future. Well, I want to thank you, Coach Nez, for coming out here and having this conversation with us. That was our show, Red is the New Black. Hope to see you next time, guys. Thank you.